think that everything as well, you know, it's a byproduct of the education system. We're going to go ahead and get started. Is it okay to go ahead and start, Dylan? Okay, this is the uh, Berlin Zoning Board of Appeals for uh, June 27th, 2023, and it's 7.02 p.m. Um, just gonna go through the agenda. We've got, uh, in the agenda, we have new business and old business. And basically what we do is uh, we listen to the uh, agenda items as they're uh, numbered here on the, on the agenda. Um, we'll hear the uh, we'll hear the new business items. Uh, we'll call your name up. You can come up, sign in, and provide a review for your, you know, uh, appeal. And basically, uh, once that's done, we'll make a motion to close the hearing after some questions and answers. We'll close the hearing on that application. Once the hearing is closed on that application we can't introduce any more new information. So um, the, point, the point is, is during the new business portion of the meeting, we want to get as much information as possible out on the floor. And if you need to say something, say it during the new business. When we go to uh, old business, uh, all we do during the old business portion of the meeting is vote on what we heard during the first part of the meeting. So essentially, we can't introduce any more new information legally during the old business portion of the meeting. So if you have anything to say, please, you know, make sure you say it during the new business before we close the hearing. And we'll ask for staff comments. We'll ask for comments from the public, but there's nobody really here that is going to probably have any comments uh, unless somebody shows up. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And the uh, first agenda item is... Uh, uh, you want me to take roll? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I know. Well, we'll go. Corey's here. Yep. Okay. Good yeah, go evening. Ahead. Good evening. So, Corey Whiteside. Present. Justine Mazzotta appears to be absent. Uh, Antonio Franklandia. Here. Ryan Matson. Here. Lenny Tubbs has uh, excused himself. Yep. Uh, Ryan Zellick. We didn't, we didn't pick you up, Brian. Got me or no? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Uh, Hunter Mathena. Absent. And Michael Simonetta. Present. All right. You have a quorum. Great. Okay. Um, pick the agenda item first, the ZBA 2023-08, 1634. Kensington Road, map 20-4, block 71, block 21X-2872. Stephen J. Carp is requesting a variance for an accessory structure, front yard setback of 67 and a half feet, where 75 feet is required for Berlin Zoning Regulation 5A10 to rebuild an existing garage with a 384 square foot addition at 1634 Kensington Road in the R86 zone. Speaking for the application. Ah, there he is. Okay. So basically you want to know what I'm asking for. I'm asking to rebuild the existing garage. It's take it down use the existing foundation. And we're gonna build a new structure on that. And I'm gonna put the addition onto the side. It's going to lessen and violation because right now there's an overhang and I'm going to take that off. It's going to be less of what the overhang is going to be the standard overhang with trusses. It's like 10 inches or a foot. Now there's like a two foot overhang on the building. So it's existing. Um, any other questions I could answer for anybody? It's pretty much simple. Just um, say your name and address. Stephen J. Carp, 1634 Kensington Road. So. It's going to be a nice structure built. Uh, nice to the neighborhood. So it's existing non-conforming and you're just reducing it by about a foot. 
yeah, the overhang in the front are going to add on to the site, but nothing is going to be more non conforming. But should we build it and use the foundation or have to change anything with the roof? We want to take it all down to the foundation and build it up. Good. Okay. I have a question. Corey? Uh, is there a reason that uh, you can't set that new addition back six feet and make it fully conforming? And I would have to tear it all down and put all now just well just the addition on the new pad. Um, how would that look with uh, to try to keep the nice authentic with the roof and the scent? You're saying jog that part back. Anything is possible. Anything could be built, but I was trying to keep it all straight in the front to keep it formative and have a, like a short, uh, what they say is a salt box roof in the front with the trusses in the front. So it'll be shorter roof in the front, longer in the back. Instead of having a jog and it looks, doesn't, you know, it looks haphazard. You do something like that. You know, in the place the structure is, the house is 103 years old. I don't know how old the garage is, but it's probably about the same. So that's, the, the existing structure predates zoning and you're going to and probably by 60 years. Yeah. So your modifications are going to make it less non-conforming yeah, and and more structural sound because everything's going to be built in a modern building. Okay. You know. Any other questions? Oh. I gotta say. Um. Kristen, were you able to Pick him up. Yes, it's just very quiet. Okay. Yeah, so I guess uh, Steve, whenever you talk, just talk more into the microphone, yeah. so it's uh, more clear for the record. Any other questions for uh, Mr. Carp? Staff comments? Actually, I'm going to try to find the uh, architectural. Have the big sheet there. Uh, there we go. Oh. <clears throat> I'll try to find it right here so I can show it on the Zoom. Does it didn't want to see it? No, that's all right. Okay, now you can you leave it up there. If you give it to us, we're going to take it away and never give it back. <laughs> we have to stamp it and then put it away, but that's okay. I, I I did drive by it, um, and I haven't I have not seen that drawing, but it appears to be congruent to the neighborhood. That's fine. That's fine. Um. You got it there? There it is. Ooh, okay. Are you folks able to see that from the Zoom? Yes, thank you. Yep. Okay. Very Any nice. Any other questions? I'm good. You good? Yep. Do, I have a motion to, do I have a motion to close the hearing on this application? Motion. We have a motion made. Any discussion? I have a second. Second. Have a motion made and seconded. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, well, I just uh, was going to ask you to take the roll from the Zoom people. <laughs> but yet they already did. Okay. Um, uh, <clears throat> Kristen, just for the record, um, Commissioner Matson made the motion and Commissioner Simonetta seconded it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Carp. Okay. Uh, the next and last application here is uh, ZBA 2023-09. 1474 Berlin Turnpike, map 18-3, block 3, lot 18-E, the Pine Loft. Um, 
LLC is requesting an alcohol uses location approval for an on-premise liquor permit at 1474 Berlin Turnpike in the BT1 zone owned by Korea LLC principal Anthanasia Vastakis. Did I get that right? Anastasia. Oh, it's Anna. Oh, and oh, Anthan uh, Anastasia. Okay, fine. They must have been spelled it wrong. I don't know. <laughs> oh well. Go ahead. Uh, speaking for the application applicant. On behalf of the applicant, Pine Law. Um, uh, just to give you some background, uh, the Pine Law existing has an existing beer and wine permit. Uh, located at uh, well, let me just start off with some housekeeping first. Um, earlier today, <clears throat> I uh, provided to Dylan copies of the letters that were sent out. They were required. Yes, yeah, speak into the microphone, please. All right. <clears throat> I uh, provided to Dylan copies of the uh, registered letters that were sent out pursuant to the regulations. I also provided him with copies of the signs that were posted at the site pursuant to the regulations. Um, I also gave him a letter of authorization. Uh, the property address is 1474 Berlin Turnpike. The applicants, the Pine Loft LLC. The property owner is Korea LLC. Korea LLC is owned by the applicant's uh, mother. The applicant, Steve Vestakis, is here tonight. Um, his mom uh, is the property owner, Korea LLC. Uh, she also runs uh, the Eastside Pizza um, over in New Britain. Um, and um, I have some, some pictures of the sign. Uh, some of you may be familiar with the Pine Loft. It's, it's a rustic building. Um, and it, uh, it's been operating for, for many, many years with a beer and wine permit. <laughs> to accommodate his, his customers, uh, a lot of volunteer fire people, firemen come in, firewomen come in, um, as well as uh, town town personnel. And they've always asked him, uh, you know, can we can we get a drink? And he just offers beer and wine. So to accommodate his his clientele, his customers, he is now um, seeking to expand to a full liquor license. Uh, there is no bar in the restaurant; it's just restaurant seating. Um, and uh, he's here tonight. Mr. Vestakis is standing right, is sitting right here. Um, we can answer any questions that, that you may have. But we're just looking to expand the current beer and wine permit to a full liquor license. <clears throat> Excuse me. Understood. I thought that you already had uh, on unknown to me i thought you already had a liquor license because i've gone there and gotten a beer i just assumed that that had a full liquor license but i guess that was wrong <laughs> <laughs> um yeah that's fine i think do i have any questions from uh, uh ryan or, or Corey? nope um i also have a letter that i'd like to read into the uh, minutes basically this is a letter to the uh berlin zoning board of appeals and it says uh I'll just do it quickly. Uh, it says, Dear Tony and Commission members, this letter is in support of the addition of a full liquor permit for the Pine Loft at 1474 Berlin Turnpike uh, in town. They have been there for some time and are a great spot after events across the Turnpike of Sage Park. Uh, the Pine Loft has become a community asset. We'll be able to provide additional beverages, including summer drinks, as well as after dinner drinks. Uh, it's similar to other restaurants in town supports local programs. We'll see growth with the addition of new beverage options. I would ask that you approve this application as it shows growth in the business and should help them to continue to provide great food and wonderful atmosphere. Thank you very much for your time this evening. Sincerely, Christopher Edge, Economic Development Director. Uh, this is from uh, Town Economic Development Director. And that being said, I you know for any other comments or any other questions, If not, um, do you have any questions or any comments from the staff uh, point of view? Uh, no, I, if, if you weren't going to read that letter, I was going to provide that. But you, you took care of that. Okay, but do you have anything else? No, uh, there's, from my knowledge, there's no zoning violations on the property. There's no fire, yeah. fire enforcement. <laughs> like the applicant stated, they already have a 
beer and wine license. They're just looking to expand the license. I think this is a very easy meeting. Very cut and dry. Uh, I don't have any other questions. I'll make a motion to close the hearing on this application. I'll second. Not. I'll second. We have a motion made and seconded. Seconded twice. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you can take a roll. All in favor? Uh, Corey Whiteside? Aye. Antonio Frankelangia? Aye. Brian Matson, Aye. Brian Zellick? Aye. Michael Simonetta? Aye. Okay. <clears throat> so we close the hearing on that. Now we go into old business and we vote on the two applications that we had. Um, again, it's probably more of a formality than anything else at this point, but uh, old business uh, ZBA 2023-08, 1634 Kensington Road. Stephen Carp is requesting a variance for an accessory structure. Front yard setback of 67 and a half feet, where 75 feet is required for building zoning regulation 5A10 to rebuild an existing garage with a 384 square foot addition at 1634 Kensington Road. Um, I have a motion to approve this application. I have a motion. We have a motion made. I have a second. Second. Motion made and seconded. Any discussion? If not, uh, all in favor of Corey, I mean, uh, Dylan, you pick, take a roll. <clears throat> Corey Whiteside. I'm going to abstain on this. Karen Frankelandia. Aye. Brian Matson. Aye. Brian Zellick. Aye. And Michael Simonetta. Aye. Okay, that's approved. Uh, application. ZBA 2023-09-1474 Brown Turnpike, Map 183, Block 3, Lot 18E, the Pine Loft LLC is requesting an alcohol use as location approval for on-premises liquor permit at 1474 Brown Turnpike in the BT1 zone owned by Korea LLC. Principal is Anastasia Vestakis. I just have a quick question. Uh, I'm sure that uh, the owner of the property signed off. Um, to have him uh, yes. uh, to be represented by uh, a counselor. I uh, in in your packet, I included the letter. Oh, okay, it's there. I missed it. It's Sorry. After the field card. Oh yeah, I got it right here. Yeah, I see it's uh, signed by uh, Counselor Sullivan. Okay. Um, I have a motion to approve this application. I'll make that motion. I have a motion made. I'll second it. Um, any discussion? Corey, Ryan? No. Nope. That was very easy. Good. Okay. All right. All Corey, in favor? Corey Whiteside? Aye. Tony Frankelandia? Aye. Ryan Matson? Aye. Ryan Zellick? Aye. Michael Simonetta? Aye. Boy, what am I going to do with the rest of the night? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's approved. Um, do we have approval of minutes? Uh, no, no, I, I, I don't think we have minutes from last month yet. Well, there, I so I, I got the minutes for the, uh, 30th, the special meeting on the 30th. Uh, I didn't get a chance to go over them. Um, and I, I did have minutes from the 23rd and yeah. I didn't have a quorum. Um, I just, okay, I didn't no problem. We have another meeting in September. I don't know if we have a meeting in July and August, or do we have one in July and not August? I believe it's July and not August. Okay, I'll, so I'll, we can I'll take care of the check and I'll send an email to everyone. We can take I, care of the minutes in July. And it's July and not August. Okay, that All is right. correct. It says August, no meeting. Thanks, Michael. Perfect. Thank you. August is the uh, one. Okay, uh, make a motion to adjourn. I'll make that motion. We have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. See you next week. That was week. the shortest meeting we've had this year. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think